action. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during, in fact, probably more than than most other candidates um, when you were running for president. But I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. And now all of left wing media, they're screaming at the top of their lungs. She's a racist. She's a racist. Um, yeah. You are so bright and articulate, and I guess I can call you articulate since you're not an American black. Um, can't can't say that about them. That's that's derogatory. I can't condemn no person without knowing them personally, but I understand what America is. Do you know what America is? It's a sovereign nation. I don't think anybody should be the president of the United States of America unless their family has been here for at least 150 years. If your great, great, great grandfather wasn't in America, then you don't understand the history and the lineage of what it means to be an American. Now let's get this straight. We have borders. Every nation in the world has borders. I can't go to Canada right now because I'm a convicted felon. You just can't cross the border from Mexico and come to America and be like, hi, happy to be here. Let me be president. I can't go to Mexico and just be like, I'm finna be the president of Mexico. I can't go to India and be like, I'm to be the president of India. That's not how nations work. And so with all these people screaming racism, do you know what nationality is? Vivek Ramaswamy says something very fascinating. There's an N-word that you're not allowed to say anymore, but I'm going to say it. Nationalist. Hey, Vivek, you can't be playing like that. You can't play with no black Americans. My great, 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 great grandfather was here in America. And so for you to just show up and act like you understand the culture of America, you don't. <laughs> so when Ann Coulter said that she wouldn't vote for you, she is not going to take a person from another nation and make them the president of America. That's insane. How do I know that you're not going to act in the best interest of India? Hell, I don't want no African to be the president. I ain't no African. I was born in America, you look at the color of my skin. And when you look at the color of my skin and you say, but you're black because you're racist. <laughs> you look at the color of my skin and you think that you can assume my lineage. That's the problem with left-wing media. They're not honest people. They're very disingenuous. And I'm not even a Republican. I'm a free-speaking American person who understands that America must be protected at all costs. You know who the founders of America are? Black people, white people. <laughs> black people, white people. Don't you be president of the United States of America? Black people, white people. And for any person who's not an original American, if you have been here for 150 years, then I think that you have enough understanding of our culture and our political system to perhaps be a president. But you ain't just gonna show up, read a book, and then tell me that you're gonna control me. That's nuts. <laughs> Do you think a person of color could ever be the GOP nominee? Yes. And Charlemagne the God, to you very specifically, you use people of color. Everybody who shows up from another nation, you call them a person of color. What the hell is that? That's some political term made up by a political pundit because they want to take away your blackness, Charlemagne. They don't want you to be an American citizen, descendant of slaves. I don't want to hear no more person of color. Policies where... So your father is not a citizen of the United States? He's not. Okay. Um, and your mother, when did your mom take the citizenship test? Was it before or after you were born? After I was born. After you were born. Okay. His father made the decision not to be an American citizen. So his loyalty is to his father. Vivek Ramaswamy is who his father is. And his father is an Indian citizen. So if you want to be the president, go be the president of India. Every group of people who comes to America, they came from somewhere. The original people of color in America are black folks. If you come from another nation, you're not a person of color. You identify as the nation in which you came from. Guess what? I'm from America. Welcome to America. This is America. <laughs> this ain't Mexico. This ain't Africa. This ain't Canada. This ain't India. This is America. I know immigration is a political issue, and so many millions of people come to America because they want to have a better life, but not at my expense. Look at some of these demands. Food with fresh culturally appropriate ingredients, no pre-made meals. Mm -hmm. They want shower access without mm. time limits, medical professional visits. You can't kick people out of housing after 30 days without something stable established. I have a firm question for any immigrant that comes to America. Why didn't you improve the place in which you came from? Why didn't you make their economy stronger? Why didn't you make that nation safer? And if you want to come to America, Remember, you're a guest. It's up to good people to defend America and protect them from all the ideas that are coming in from all around the world, trying to brainwash me into thinking that their way of living is so great. Because if it was, they wouldn't be here. The greatest American alive. 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 The